Okay, on taxes, um, define rich. Everybody talks about uh, you know taxing the rich mm -hmm. and, and but not the poor, the middle class. At what point? Give me a number. Give me a specific number. Where do you move from middle class to rich? Is it a hundred thousand? Is it fifty thousand? Is it two hundred? How how does anybody know if we don't know what the standards are? Some of the richest people I've ever known in my life are the most unhappy. I think that rich is, should be defined by a home, a good job, an education, and the ability to hand to our children a more prosperous and safer world than the one that we inherited. I don't want to take any money from the rich. I want everybody to get rich. <laughs> I, I don't believe in class warfare or redistribution of the wealth. But, but I can tell you, uh, for example, there are small businessmen and women who are working 20, uh, 16 hours a day, seven days a week, that some people would classify as, quote, rich. My friends and want to raise their taxes and want to ra raise their payroll taxes. Let's have, keep taxes low. Let's give every family in America a $7,000 tax credit for every child they have. Let's give them a $5,000 refundable tax credit to go out and get the health insurance of their choice. Let's not have the government take over the health care system in America. So, 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 I think if you're just talking about income, how about five million? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but, but seriously, I don't think you can, I don't think seriously that the point is that I'm trying to make here, seriously, and, I, and I'm sure that comment will be distorted, but the point is, <laughs> the point is, the point is that we want to keep people's taxes low and increase revenues. And my friend, it was not taxes that mattered in America in the last several years. It was spending. Spending got completely out of control. We spent money in a ways that mortgaged our kids' futures. My friends, we spent $3 million of your money to study the DNA of bears in Montana. Now, I don't know if that was a paternity issue or a criminal issue, <laughs> but the point is, but the point is, it was three million of your money. It was your money. And, and you know, we laugh about it, but we cry. And we should cry, because the Congress is supposed to be careful stewards of your tax dollars. So what did they just do in the middle of an energy crisis, when in California we are paying four dollars a gallon for gas? Went on vacation for five weeks. I guarantee you, two things they never miss, a pay raise and a vacation. And we should stop that and call them back and not raise your taxes. We should not and cannot raise taxes in tough economic times. So it doesn't matter really what my definition of rich is because I don't want to raise anybody's taxes. I really don't. In fact, I want to give working Americans a better shot at having a better life. And we all know the challenges, my friends, if I could be serious. Americans tonight in California and all over America are sitting at the kitchen table recently and suddenly lost a job, can't afford to stay in their home, education for their kids, affordable health care. These are tough problems. These are tough problems. You talk to them every day, every day. My friends, we've got to give them hope and confidence in the future. That's what we need to give them. And I can inspire them. I can lead. And I know that our best days are ahead of us. All right. Great.